Hi and welcome to the small scape today. I'm giving you an update on the farm tank otherwise known as Green Acres. I have had a number of requests and um, it has changed a little bit. So yes, this video is to give you an update on the farm tank, but also to share my thoughts on a plant only tank, like a grow out tank, because there are a lot of options when, it, it, when you do want to dedicate a particular aquarium just for growing out plants. Maybe you go to a swap, you go to the store and you get a bunch of plants, but you don't have an aquarium yet to put them in. So what do you do? You maybe put them in other aquariums, but that's going to clutter up your aquascapes in there. I've been there and done that. So if you don't have the room for say a 50 gallon low boy, that is probably the ultimate plant grow out tank. I, we have some in the fish room here, but in my nano nook, nope, can't be fitting a 50 gallon low boy. So the next best option I would say is the 20 gallon long. I think it is a great size tank and I'm going to list a number of reasons for that and, and also give you a, a update on what my farm tank looks like. But it's such a great size tank because not only can you fit a lot of plants in there, even when they're small, maybe you get some tissue culture plants from the big box stores and you just let them grow out. You don't have to have a really fancy aquascape. I never have. I've had it very minimal, usually just some random rocks. Maybe they don't even go together and just basically make it all about the plants. But the tank is big enough that you can put some fish in there and I would highly recommend doing that just because it adds a lot of interest to the tank and it can help your plants grow too. Now in my in my farm tank I do have my prized little posse of green neons. I absolutely love them and I am thinking of maybe putting uh, somebody else in there. We'll see coming up uh, who I add in there but I also have my magenta mystery snails and they breed in there and that's really great because then I can furnish all my other tanks with with some little beautiful magenta mystery snails. So that's a great size tank to accommodate not only plants but also some fish that maybe you may, might even want to breed or some snails in my case that I want to breed. And I can uh, observe my green neons adventuring all around my nicely planted tank. Now as you can see I used to have a lot of crypts in here. That was the main focus. I planted a whole bunch of crypts in here, but it is a farm tank and I did harvest them for a number of different projects that you've probably seen recently. Some aquascapes that were very uh, dependent on crypts. So I did add from my Candy Cane Tetra Island aquascape, I did pull out some of the corkscrew veil because that grows very nicely. If you're ever looking for a plant that grows really uh, somewhat quickly and covers a lot of area that you can farm out to your other tanks and it looks really really cool. I highly recommend that plant and I did add a number of uh, little starts in here and it's taken off very well and it looks rather beautiful. I even have pulled out some of that in the meantime to use in other tanks. Now one thing that I will be changing in the near future if you are setting up a plant only tank that you are just looking to plant in and then harvest when you want to do some aquascapes. I do really like, and this is one of the only tanks that I use it in, uh, I have Eco Complete and Aqua Soil in here and I think it's great because A you don't have to remember where you've put root tabs throughout there and you don't have to worry about them being pulled up when you are pulling out the plants. So I would highly recommend using that in this type of a setup, but what I would do, and I will be doing soon, is I'm going to be capping this with some sand. Probably keep it black with uh, my favorite top fin black sand from PetSmart. Uh, it is my favorite and I do happen to have some around here, but it will keep your plants from floating up because the one negative, the big drawback that I don't particularly care for about the uh, aqua soils, the uh, eco-completes uh, eco and all of those substrates is it's very light and buoyant and very fluffy. So when you want to plant something into it, it's very uh, difficult to keep it down, especially if you're talking like micro sword or something like that. There's really just nothing in that substrate to keep it down. So to top it off with some sand will uh, kind of remedy that situation. The other great thing about a 20 gallon long is, or even if you want to do a 20 gallon, is there's lots of room up top to grow out some floating plants. So I do have some hydrocodal in there and I also have some Brazilian pennywort and I think even some floating plants, maybe some sylvania 
uh, floating around at the top. Of course, duckweed is there, not by, not on purpose, but it is there. And it, so I, I have even more plant grow at the top of the tank. As you can see, the aquascape isn't anything earth shattering. I do have a number of different rocks. Sometimes I just leave them in there to maybe help weigh down some plants like some Anubias or to have them previously some of the rocks in there have been used to attach a bunch of Anubias but I've since used a lot of that and then uh, a piece of driftwood I use to attach uh, a number of pieces of Anubias as well that have since grown out so it's nothing really much to look at but it sure does serve a great purpose. The moss in the back is looking really cool that's a fun plant to use especially if you're not uh, if you're maybe new to aquatic plants, get yourself some java moss. There's a, there's a lot of different kinds of moss. There's Christmas moss, and uh, it's just kind of a fun plant. You can even glue it. You can super glue it to rocks or driftwood, and gets kind of a cool look. This happens to be crawling kind of up the back of the tank, which looks kind of cool. And then it is just fun to see the plants grow in and see how fast they grow. You can drop in a bunch of different other plants that maybe you're curious about. Just take a look at it and then it's not as stressful if you want to try out a plant and it doesn't work out and then it won't ruin your aquascape. So it's really just great to have a plant only tank. But like I said, this size is great because you can add fish and enjoy the fish in there as well. Of course, there are smaller tanks and other size tanks. You can use totes. A lot of people use totes. That's totally an option, especially if you have the room for it. I have tried other things, like currently I do have a nine gallon, I believe it's a nine gallon bookshelf tank on the bottom row. It's not accessible. It's not very deep. So it doesn't really uh, help my purposes a whole lot because it fills up so quickly. It only fits two little pots deep and that just really doesn't, doesn't really cut it so I wouldn't necessarily um, suggest getting a tank that small for a plant grow out unless you're growing out some really tiny plants. So let me know do you have any uh, tanks that are specifically set aside to grow out plants or uh, do you not? Do you have any interest in doing that? I, I'm very curious but uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, thanks so much for watching the video. See you next time.